Pritchett Housing Authority administers the Summer Food Service Program for Children for the City of Mobile, the City of Pritchett, and Mobile County. During the summer of 1990, over 434,000 nutritious meals were served to children, making the Housing Authority's program the largest of its kind in the state of Alabama. And on this segment of Impact, we'll focus on the Summer Food Service Program and how this massive feeding effort is coordinated each summer with the Housing Authority. My guest on the first segment will be Mrs. Eleanor Joyner. She's the coordinator of the summer program, along with Ms. Bessie Smith. She's the assistant coordinator. In the second half, we'll have Mr. Kazma Rahmani, along with the Reverend William Allen Evans, and they are here to tell us about what they see as site monitors during the feeding program. Shirley Matthews is here with her segment, Making a Difference in Public Housing, and her guest tonight is Ms. Petrina Lacey, one of the premier high school athletes in the city of Mobile. This and much more on Impact. I'm Cornell Davis. We'll be back after this break. America's homecoming during the 1991 Parade of Homes. There's never been a better time to buy a new home, whether it be a starter home, executive home, or retiree's home. See the latest designs, colors, and building techniques. Over 40 homes in 23 subdivisions at the 1991 Parade of Homes, Saturday and Sunday, 1 to 5, June 8th, 9th, 15th, and 16th. Take a trolley from the Abbott Temple to Brockton Place and see the 1991 Showcase House. Celebrate America's homecoming during the 1991 Parade of Homes. This message sponsored by Alabama Power. Call us about your good sense home. See some of the hottest bodies on the Gulf Coast doing it naturally in the 4th Annual Southern Naturals Bodybuilding Championships. Saturday, June 15th at St. Paul's Auditorium, Alabama's first drug-free bodybuilding championship. See men and women from across the U.S. on stage. Ah, natural. For ticket information, call Jason's Port City Health Club at 661-4615. The 4th Annual Southern Naturals from Jason's Port City Health Club and Comcast Bay TV. Impact is sponsored by the Pritchett Housing Authority, and with me is Ms. Eleanor Joyner, along with Ms. Bessie Smith. They're the coordinators of the Summer Food Service Program. Uh, Ms. Joyner, the Summer Food Service Program for Children, administered by the Housing Authority. Tell us, what is this program and what is its purpose? The purpose of this program is to ensure that during the summer months, that children will receive a nutritious meal and, of course, a very high-potency meal. Okay, I mentioned uh, in the opening the, the project is, is relatively large, it's a massive uh, program. How large is the program? Tell us about the number of sites that you actually have. Currently we have 87 sites. Uh, we are very proud of the number of sites from last year. We closed out with the number of 72. Of course, we are very pleased with everyone that has joined us this year, and seemingly the effort has really grown. Of course, the participation has grown through our efforts and Miss Bessie Smith's efforts uh, through uh, having the media and all of the newspapers advertise. The schools are advertising, churches, recreational centers, and all efforts are being put together rather well. Okay, Miss Smith, you do help coordinate the program. When does it begin? How long does it run? Okay, the program begins this year on June 12th. We'll have the program for 47 days. The last day will be August 16th. It's, a nine, it's about a nine-week program. And what we try and do is feed all of the children. We start to announce the program in February and in March for persons that are interested in participating in the program. Now, when you say you try to feed all of the children, who is, it, who is eligible to to participate in this project? All children are eligible between the ages of 0 to 18 years old to participate in the program. Um, we do not have sites that are enrolled sites this year, so what we do is we use school board data based on the free and reduced price meal participation in the schools to qualify a site. Okay, now you, you, you and Ms. Joyner both have mentioned sites. Mm -hmm. Ms. Joyner, what is a site? Just tell us in your own words uh, what a site is. 
A site is the particular place in where lunches are served. As stated earlier, it can be a church, it might be a recreation center, of course a park, yeah, any of these places. Okay, and uh, who, who mans the sites and then tell us about the food that is actually served to the children. We have site supervisors, and of course their job specifically is to count the lunches when, upon receiving them, distribute them to each child. Each child can receive one lunch. Of course, this consists of... Okay, I see you brought along... Of course.